What is happening and welcome to another Photography Talk episode in front. Heck yeah, you know when there's a box in front, we're gonna have a good time. You know we have a good time regardless. But as many of you know, for the last five years, we've been doing various different metal print shootouts, canvas print shootouts. This year we've added our acrylic print shootouts and one other little surprise here in this box right here. Yes, this is a photo album. So many of you have been requesting or asking a lot of questions on photo albums. So we're adding photo albums to the mix of the style of reviews that we're doing this year as well. And so it's gonna be done in the same fashion um, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So in today's video, so getting back on topic, I'm gonna to take a good hard look at a new photo album that I recently ordered. This is from a European company uh, called PixMeg. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Hey, Alex, uh, what could there possibly be to discuss about a photo album? They're all pretty much the same, aren't they? No, and you know what, many, it's, it's funny because many of you are coming into the industry and looking at photo albums and trying to determine, because a lot of the marketing jargon from these companies is relatively the same and so forth. And it's not until you look underneath the hood or look behind corners, you start seeing some differences and so forth. So as you've seen in our canvas print and metal print shootouts that we've done over the years, there is or can be a huge variation in the quality of products that you get from online printing companies. The print album niche is, friends, it's really no different. So I'm gonna be taking a deep dive into this album. I'm gonna bust this thing open. I'm gonna give you my first impressions. I'm gonna discuss things that I like. I'm gonna discuss things that I don't like. And at the end of the video, you may agree with me, you may not, but the, at the end, there's gonna be a scorecard. And ultimately, if you go out and decide to spend your hard-earned money on a photo album from this company, you're gonna have a pretty good idea of what your dollar is going to get you. So ultimately, our goal here is to simply make you a more informed consumer. When you're going out there and you're spending good money on a album, a print, whatever the case may be, you're more informed and you have more tuned expectations of what you're going to get. I had to think about where I was gonna go with that. So as you can imagine, doing these sort of reviews requires a lot of time, a lot of effort, research, blood, sweat, and tears. So where I'm leaning with this, if you appreciate the amount of information and the efforts that go into creating a video like this, friends, it sure would be appreciated if you would crush the like button because it really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. It helps tremendously. And as a small token for doing that, friends, here is a puffer fish. So thank you guys very much. We really do appreciate it. That said, friends, hey, it's time. Pull up seat in. Let's go. All right, before we go crack this sucker open, let's address the first question here, the 900 pound gorilla, who is Pixma? Now, over the last handful of weeks, my editors and I, we've done quite a bit of research on this particular company. And so before we crack this thing open and proceed with the review, I'm going to take a few minutes to kind of share with you what we've learned about this company. So Pixma, this is a small family run printing company. And as many of you know, I'm a big softy for two things, either family-run companies or military or companies that have veteran base or military base or do, do something for the military. But family-run businesses, I'm a big softy for. Why? Well, first off, I think family-run businesses are a dying breed. And it's a shame because these are companies that often have, from what I see, a higher emotional interest in your satisfaction with their products. And so anytime when I go seeing a family run business, yeah, they get it, they score points right off the get go. But anyway, this company is headquartered in Macedonia, but they offer extremely fast shipping to the United States, what we've noticed. Now, if you've ever tried to build a photo album online, this is where we see a lot of the questions kind of stemming from. People, there's a bit of anxiety, especially if it's your first time creating an album, and you're not, no, you're not sure where to start. And there's also this big illusion of this big scary wall that's in front of you. And in all reality, there are some companies out there that have some very streamlined processes. So initially you may find the notion of creating an album a complicated process, but one of the best features, for example, with PixMeg, for example, is that you can create, customize, and order a, a photo album in just a matter of minutes. 
Yeah, that's just, you know, it doesn't take long. It literally takes just a few moments to get your photo album ready to go in the hands of a Pixelmon team to create it for you. And so it really couldn't be a simpler process. Now, what they do have is they have, if you're looking for something with a little bit more training wheel process of creating an album, they got you covered. If you are more of a kind of tuned in or more adventurous, um, they have a editor that is pretty awesome. So you can actually jump behind the wheel and take full control of that. But either way, the process is actually quite intuitive and easy to use, whether you're building a photo album or you're ordering a print. Now, something else that we noticed with Pixma is that they have some actually some pretty unique products on their webpage. So for example, today I'm going to be reviewing, this is a or a wooden photo album. Now these albums come with a variety of different wood coverings and I thought this was pretty unique. So you have maple, you have walnut, mahogany, and a whole bunch of other woods to choose from, which is pretty cool. Now you can further customize the wood album with various options of leather for the binding. So you can choose also silk or also uh, album HD paper and choose from dozens of pre-made templates as you're creating this thing as well, which adds a bit of flair. You can even create a custom album design if you want. Now Pixmet also has other interesting album options that we notice as well. They have a acrylic uh, cover and a professional photo book that gives you pretty much loads of options for creating a truly custom album experience. Now the point is, before I go unboxing this album, so far from where order to where this box is sitting in front of me, the experience has been really, really nice. Now the creating the album was super easy, actually it didn't take me long to do so, and there were a lot of customization options along the process with it as well. So anyways, the ordering process was really smooth so far. Now, let's see how the quality of this album stacks up. Yippee, yippee. Okay, we're gonna grab our little handy dandy little switchblade, or, ooh, actually, not really a switchblade, but a little X-Acto knife there. You know what, this thing is really razor sharp. As I shared with you, a buddy of mine sent this to me because he was tired of seeing me crack open these prints with all sorts of different knives, scissors, and things that could legitimately really screw up whatever's inside the box. But with this one here, I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I totally screwed up the box here. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is, I don't know how, where that print is, or I'm sorry, that, that elm is in here, and I don't want to cut it. Okay, so this was on here, but I cut the side of the box. All right, so, zip. So as we can see here, this is packaged quite nicely. They have a stack of cardboard on the top, so which is technically hitting the top, keeping that secured in there. And as we can see along the outside edge, we have bubble wrap sandwich, sandwiching this thing in there. Okay, and here's all the little bubble wraps there. Let's toss that over there. So the fun part about this here, kind of two birds, one stone. I get to test out the, the print that we're ordering, but this is uh, something that is ultimately once I'm done with the review, this is with Mother's Day coming around the corner. Uh, this is also how I position or time these sort of reviews as well. Uh, Mother's Day is coming up, and my my grandmother, my mother, um, this is ultimately a gift from Caleb to my mother, so his grandmother. So this is really packaged really well. There's bubble wrap all around. It is quite secure, or protected rather. So now the trick is crack this open where I don't. I don't screw up anything or put any scratches into this. Right. Okay, so as I mentioned, you know, it smells. A little while back, you may recall I was reviewing the Holdfast Gear Romographer leather camera bag. This bag smells like smells like leather. If you remember off of that, I absolutely, I made a point of pointing out that I made a point of pointing out that I really love the smell of leather. That 
All this smells like leather, which is likely in here. Wow. That is, okay, hopefully that's going to show on. So you can have the outer box. I'm hoping that will show. There we go. That looks absolutely fantastic. All right, there we go. Oh, but you don't, on the camera, it doesn't show. So it looks like I, you, Caleb. But it goes, I love you, Grandma and Grandpa, Caleb. That is really... Wow, this has some weight to it. It's a solid chunk of wood there. Okay. All right. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, look at this. It's on this as well. So I'm trying to get where you can... Okay, there you go. So you, with the light just right... So there's certain things that cameras just don't pick up really well. And clearly, this is not one of them. But it looks absolutely beautiful. Wow. And the presentation... So this is what we're talking about here, that curb appeal, that first impression. Imagine you're sending this off to a client, or in this particular case, a gift for somebody, that first impression. Uh, with this here, okay, we have a leather strap uh, that's on the bottom that's helping me lift this up out. I'm gonna put this here for a second so we can finish taking a look at this here. This looks, wow, that fresh, that leather smells fantastic. So as you can see, that strap is being held down on the bottom there and that's what is allowing you to lift up the book and they have little bits of little bits of uh, bubble wrap in there to protect this thing through the journey itself okay so let's put this right there wow yeah that's leather right there all right that is boy that is beautiful that is, that first impression is absolutely, many of you may know, I enjoy building furniture. So when I see, you know, with wood, um, I'm a big softy for, for wood as well. You know, it's funny, I keep wanting to, to smell this because I absolutely love it. That's one thing that obviously the camera is not sharing with you here is just how you have this wood in leather smell, which is just absolutely, it reminds me of when I was growing up. You may recall, so when did I, oh no, two years ago, we did a, we did a review on a canvas. I think it was, was it Canvas HQ? Anyways, my grandfather, I did a video with um, my grandfather, a photo of my grandfather. So he used to build boats. So when I was a kid, I grew up in his, his workshop with all this wood around. So when I smell certain things like wood or cut wood, it just, or stains, or even leather right here, it just reminds me, it brings me back in time. So, anyway, let's take a look at this here. So, as I'm inspecting this, I'm all, or looking at this, I'm looking for blemishes. Uh, the seam is really fantastic. I don't see any ripples. The binding is fantastic. Okay. Oh, this looks absolutely amazing. So, I went with the silk finish on this, and this creates this kind of matte look. So, these are all photos of Caleb growing up here. And the, the colors are absolutely absolutely amazing <laughs> he was pointing up to an airplane and it went, this is during the time frame when he was just learning how to speak and so uh, he was always amazed with the uh, airplanes and so he was pointing up at a plane in the sky and so forth The quality of these pages absolutely is fantastic. And, and it's funny, over the years I've seen quite a handful of, of albums and you see enough of them. Um, you see a lot of, there's, there's a lot of good ones out there. There's quite a handful of bad ones and there's a few that are very exceptional. Um, and so it's usually with albums, 
there's always a compromise and a lot of them are just so mass produced that a lot of that quality goes out the window. This is really, really, this shot always cracks me up of him. This was uh, Hawaii last year and he was just being a little goofball. This really looks fantastic. Boy, those blacks look absolutely amazing there. The colors are very vibrant. And also as I'm flipping through this, again, a lot of the photos I have sent and so forth have large areas and I'm looking for blemishes. I'm looking for banding. I'm looking for any sort of walkingness from the printing process itself. And you might've noticed I'm running my hands around the page. I'm looking for sharp pages, just any sort of cracks, any sort of blemishes, any sort of anything that I can share with you. But so far, this looks absolutely, wow, that really, this, this shot right here, the color really punches you in the face as soon as you open that, that looks fantastic. <laughs> absolutely amazing. This really looks well, wow. this absolutely, I'm telling you, I can't get over how that smells absolutely amazing. Let's take a look at the scorecard for this album. All right, friends, and there you go. Pixmake did a really good job on this album. So it's, uh, I have to say, the colors, the just A to Z with this thing was really well done. And I'm surprised with how quick it made it from over there to over here. But before we go diving off with things, let's close off today's video with a quick rundown of our current giveaway. Now we have three excellent prizes up to grab for this month. We have a Vanguard Veo adapter, our 48 GY, we have a desk lamp, a desk lab portable monitor and a hundred dollar Amazon gift card. Now, as always, friends, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, well, you gotta like this video and you need to subscribe to the channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chance that you have to win. So by all means, get watching some more of the videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing and by, say hello, we would love to see you. And friends, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk or how to say hello in the forum, check out the description below. Good luck and actually one little thing before I go jumping off of here. If you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to head over to Photography Talk, sign up for an account, it's, friend, it's free to do so, and it's gonna give you access to literally thousands of photography related articles on the site, including uh, news articles on camera gear, photography tutorials, and much, much more. So actually take a moment, sign up for an account, and get access to material that will help you take your best shot. And that is officially all I have. This is, you know, this year, 2023, we we're excited on two things. We have the acrylic uh, print shootout that we're gonna be doing, the acrylic print comparisons and just a lot of acrylic print reviews and so forth. Then of course we have our metal prints, which again, metal and canvas is our fifth year doing this. So a lot of very exciting. And then of course, the albums, because again, when we're talking about the power of a print, whether this is for yourself or a client, the power of the print just, it, it's there. There's just, either it can go very well because there's a lot of emotional value with something like this, or it can go really wrong. And it usually it goes wrong because expectations were high because of a lot of the marketing rhetoric that a company may use to describe their product. And we get, a lot of the concerns and anxiety that come from you folks is because you're forced to read what's online and a lot of these companies or their websites out there that will give you a list of, hey, these are the best. And in all reality, they've never even touched a photo album, a print or whatever it may be. 
And the unfortunate side about it is you folks order these things, whether it's for yourself or you're drop shipping to a client. And when a whoever's opening up, if it's not where it needs to be from an expectational standpoint, yeah, it's a bit of a letdown. But when it's a home run, boy, it's a home run. You know, and I absolutely love this engraving on the uh, on the front there. That really looks fantastic. Uh, many of you are probably saying, okay, that's enough with smelling the leather. But you know what? Yeah, I'm weird like that. I really like the smell. Anyways, this has been a lot of fun. As always, friends, it's an honor to have you here with us. And I hope you found some value with this video. If you did, uh, you want to throw back a little favor to us. Sure would appreciate you hitting that like button, hit the subscribe button, and last but not least, so therefore, every time that we come out with a video like this, YouTube's gonna, well, you wanna hit the all notification thing first. Then YouTube is going to send you a heads up when the videos come out. But friends, that is it. So I'm gonna be shutting off my camera so you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.